Making connections to the world. Empowering language on humanity. Let's swing over the floorings in one channel. Well then, 
Now, let's do the next activity. Learning task number two, say it with a pen. Let's practice the short dialogue below. It's Rika and Rocco's first day back at school after a long summer break. What are they talking about? Fill in the speech bubbles to make up your own story. So in this activity, you will need your imagination. Imagine that Rika and Rocco had been in a long summer vacation, which means they both have some interesting story to tell to each other. So, what do you think? Now, using the bubble heads, you are going to write the conversation of Rika and Ro Rocco about their long summer vacation. You may begin now. This time, take a close look at the sample dialogue of Tanisha and Elita. Hi, Elita. How are you? I am good. What about you? So, how was your summer vacation? It was very fine. I enjoyed my time a lot. Where did you go? I visited my native village to meet my extended family there. My parents were with me. It was a huge fun. That's great! What types of fun activities you have done there? I have done lots of fun activities. I liked swimming in the pond most. My cousins have taught me to ride on the tree. Now, I can ride any tree. That's cool! What have you enjoyed most? All the people are so heartwarming and they welcome us with lots of love. You know, I visited my village after five years. So, I found a lot of changes there. I have enjoyed the good changes and I loved meeting with the local people. I am sure you had an amazing time, I can assume. Now, you may compare your work to the sample dialogue, then assess your own work by answering the following question. First question. Do you think your way of communicating is effective? You can answer yes if the dialogue you made has used words or languages in order to communicate effectively, which means both persons in the dialogue can understand each other well. Second question. If the response will be spoken, will you be having a hard time responding to a conversation using the oral language? Hmm, sometimes, right? Especially if you do not have the knowledge about the things being asked to you. It will be difficult to respond on things you do not understand as well. But don't you worry, because as you go on with this lesson, you will be able to know how to respond effectively using oral language. Now let's talk about each area. Phonology. An element of oral language dealing with our pronunciation of the words and how our speech organs move to produce the sound. The clarity of our statement for us to be understood relies on how well we produce the sound and how well we pronounce the words. Let's practice reading this example. Plural words pronounce us z for words like cabs, bags, bars. For words like cops, backs, fades. Z for words like buses, garages, matches. So, words like thing, think, thorn, thought. Hard words like though, then, this, that. GH sounds as like love, calf, elephant, photo. Next, we have vocabulary or semantics. The word we choose to use in talking to other people is one of the important factors in our successful conversation and communication. 
Examples To call someone a lady means more than simply being female. Semantic tells that if she is a lady, she possesses elegance and grace. A child could be called a child. Kid, boy, girl, son, daughter. The word run has many meanings. Physically running, depart or go, spent or even snug in a pair of paws. Next, morphology. Morphology focuses on the smallest units of meaning within a word as well as the rules about how those words are formed including roots, suffixes, and prefixes. Correct usage of such will give you smooth conversation with others. Example, using Ecobug is one simple step to save Earth because we can use it again and again. Better, using Ecobug is one simple step to save Earth because we can reuse it many times. Next, we have grammar or syntax. So the rules of grammar help us decide the order we put words and which forms of a word to use. Precision and vivid picture of what we are telling people can be achieved through rules of grammar as to when, where, and how the event happened and as to how a thing looked like. Examples I will go to the cinema after my work. I went to the cinema yesterday. I excitedly went to the biggest cinema in town. Next, pragmatics. It requires the understanding of the social use of language. This includes social norms regarding conversational turn-taking, personal space and appropriate behavior with peers and authority figures in a variety of common social situations. Example, I hurt you. Heart refers to an organ in our body. However, pragmatically, heart in this sentence means love. To heart someone means you love him. Remember, components of our language are powerful factors that influence your skills in communications when you master them. There you have it, the different areas of our language. Phonology, which is all about the sounds. Vocabulary or semantics, which is all about words we use in speaking or writing. Morphology, which helps build a vocabulary. Grammar or syntax, which is all about the structural rules in combining words and phrases. And lastly, pragmatics, which is all about social and cultural attributes of the one talking. Now, the question is, how this knowledge can help you as students? As English language learner, what can you get from learning all these things? You can use these skills to process and deliver instructions, make requests, ask questions, receive new information and giving information, making explanations, narrating events, and interact with peers. What about when someone in front of us is not using any words or phrases at all, or beyond words, there seems to be something that he or she is communicating to us. Have you observed that a person's body language is opposite to what he or she is saying? This is conveying a message not through words but through bodily actions. When you speak, you probably accompany your words with an action which is a result of muscular activity. This bodily action combines with your oral language to convey a message. 
Here are some examples of postures and bodily gestures that influence how your listeners understand your message when you are speaking. First, stand with confidence. To prevent swaying or rocking while talking in front of seven of others, spread your feet about six to eight inches apart parallel to each other to achieve a comfortable speaking position. Face your audience with hands on the side with your chin up. This will help you appear open and sincere to your audience and give the impression that you are in control of the situation. Avoid the following as much as possible. Crossing your arms make you look defensive. Hands at the back as if you are hiding something. Hands in your pocket as if you are hiding something. Hands and hips make you seem aggressive as if you are bullying your audience. Hands on chin as if you are not ready with what you are going to say because it seems you are still thinking of what to say. Two hands cup in front of your chest. Makes it look like you're covering something in front of your chest. Use your hands to emphasize your message when speaking. If relevant gestures are used at the right time, your message will be easily understood. Emphasize the point you are making. Shake your fist to show you are serious. Make an ok sign with your fingers. Suggest something. Shrug the shoulders to show that you don't know. Describe. Act as if you are falling to describe that you fell face first into the water. Prompt. Clap your hands to make your audience also clap. Day 2. Learning task number three, choose wisely. For the day two of your lesson, in your module, get ready for another activity. Again, please have your module with you and a pen and paper to write your answer. Directions, read the selection and answer the following question. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. What is the best word that will complete the sentence? I will blank the essay that I wrote in my notebook yesterday. A. Rewrite B. Reset C. React D. Reenter Next question. Which word has a hard V sound? A. Thick B. Thim C. Thus D. Think Number 3 Complete the sentence to make it grammatically correct. Please listen to me. I will back your favorite song. A. Song B. Sing C. Singing D. Sings 4. How much money did you bring for shopping? Which of the following answer this question A. I have some change in my purse B. None, but I have a credit card C. I have 500 pesos inside the envelope in my desk D. All the cash I have was spent at the grocery store yesterday Number 5 He turned over a new leaf after long years of imprisonment In pragmatics what does this sentence mean? A. Made another and better effort B. Started a new life C. Gave up old hopes D. Made a turning point Turning task 4 Picture says Using the illustration below, construct simple sentences to make a short story about the scenes Write your sentence on the space provided and tell the story by reading it aloud in front of your family members. And be sure to observe pronunciations when you do that. 
for you to be able to know how you will be graded in this activity, please refer to page 6 of your last. The rubric shows the different areas of oral language we talked about earlier and the corresponding points. Good luck! Have you finished your short story? How did it go? I hope you made a very interesting one. For the day three of the lesson, learning task five, watch and learn. Watch at least three TV programs of shows and fill in the table below. You are going to think of TV programs that you often watch. It is important that you are very familiar with the TV programs because you will need to use them to do the next activity. So we have their title of the show, stance, and communication situation. Example, TV Patrol. Under column of stance, used, we have their uses body language, hand gestures, eye contact. Under column communication situation, we have they're just going to use whether it is making explanation, giving instruction, or narrating events. So TV Patrol is making explanation. Next activity, learning task 6, lesson learn. Share the things that you have learned by writing a message for the future. List down things you've learned from the lesson. For this task, remember to write three important things you learned about oral language so that you will always be reminded about this in the future. Wow! Seems like we are all enjoying the lesson in this video. We almost haven't noticed that it's almost finished. We are now on day 4. In this part of the module, you are going to do another activity. Learning task number 7. Quiz left. Identify the correct answer for the following statements. Encircle the letter of your answer. What will be your best statement for this situation? You want to borrow your new classmate's pen. A. Give me your pen, please. B. May I borrow your pen? C. Hey, dude. May I borrow your pen? Number 2. Which sentence is correctly structured? A. There are many beautiful things to look forward to. B. She came to school late because she walked from home to school. C. I forgot my book yesterday. That's why I don't have any homework. Number 3. It's dinner time and you saw your sister's hands are dirty. What will you say? A. You will not eat until your hands are clean. B. Eat your dinner without using any utensils. C. Go to the sink, wash your hands with soap, and rinse it thoroughly. Number 4. The following are proper gestures that the speaker should do except one. A. Maintain eye contact. B. Speak loudly and never mind what others are doing. C. Avoid unnecessary gestures or distracting mannerisms. Number 5. As a speaker, what will you do if someone is interrupting you while you are still talking? A. Pause for a while and tell him to shut up. B. Never mind that person and continue talking. C. Pause for a while, approach him politely and give him time to talk. And so, we are done with week 3. If you have comments or suggestions, you may reach out your teacher through text message, call, or social media apps. You may leave a comment on this video and we will try our best to answer your queries. But first, be sure to subscribe and invite your relatives, friends, and family to subscribe and like our videos. Bye! See you in our next session. Hop